This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So tell me something this week. Yeah. How would you, or maybe even just today, how would you describe our marriage in one word? Heavy breathing. That's, I said one word. Um, um, I, I, uh, uh, I can't do, I, I, I can't. <laughs> you, you can't describe no, what our relationship yours? What's in one yours? word? Mine's irritating. I just heard heavy nose breathing <laughs> in the mic during the intro. I'm like, uh, let's pause this thing and start over. It's like a bull. <laughs> well, I am a Taurus. I know. Why? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Why are you so irritated? I wasn't irritated. Because you're irritating? Because n- you're irritating. I've, I've been called that my whole life. <laughs> doesn't I even phase me. I wasn't irritated until about 10 minutes ago. Why? When you told me that today the podcast is what matters. Today's the greatest day of your life. Not the plans I have with my best friend. Right, because you get all weirded out, and this, I, I don't know why no, you do. Because, it's like, come no, on, to have well, your priorities straight. I have had planned all week to go to this thing at 6 o'clock, and you told me we were going to podcast at 12.30, and what time is it? I don't know. 4.50. 4.50, so let's, right. let's, let's push this thing along, And baby. so you told me that my plans don't matter, but your plans to go to the bar and watch football mattered. Well, we're going to eat. <laughs> I mean, we ha- everybody has to eat. You ate a bag of gummies. It's fine. By gummies, I mean like uh, gummy candy. You know, people think <laughs> pot gummies for sure. Kids right. are like, what did you do? Yeah. Trader Joe's I, gummies. No, I Let's actually real that. gummies. <laughs> Valentine's gummies. And Trader if you ever Joe's buy those Valentine's again, Day. if you ever buy those again. What? I'll, You'll be irritated? I'll be irritated, yeah. <laughs> don't buy those. I can't. I have no self-control. I've said they that before. They are pretty damn good. I know, but I just I don't know what flavors they are. freaking things. But they're really tasty. I have no idea. They're good. So if you want right. a delicious gummy, go to Trader Joe's and get their Valentine's Day. Like that cheered you up. You're not even irritated anymore. I mean, I probably am a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah. I don't understand why you, why you get so irritated. Like, I don't, nothing really irritates me, Harley. Are you just saying that? Does it no. irritate you on the inside? Probably not. Oh. I'm just easy go lucky. Okay. I got to bend over <laughs> backwards for you. That okie dokes. I do. Okay. I do. Did you bend over backwards today? The only thing that irritates me about you. <laughs> And I'm going to say this, and you're probably not going to want me to say it, and mom's not going to definitely want me to say this, but is your farts. I just say- Women farts in general right. irritate I don't me. think that that should be something, if if you're irritated, then I should be highly irritated Yeah, but yours. women are kind of used to men farting. And that's just no, real they are. Men are, men, men are full of uh, puppy dog tails What about dog, a baby fart? Snails. Babies fart all the time. Baby girls? Yes, that's perfectly acceptable. Okay. Dogs, perfectly acceptable. <laughs> women who are supposed to be sensual- and supposed to be romantic, and supposed to be beautiful, and pretty, are not supposed to fart on well, your leg. Women, okay, one, I'm gonna, hold on. First of all. <laughs> I, actually, you didn't yeah, fart on my leg, right. I know. I First of all, women can be none of those things if they're bloated and full of gas. Yeah, but the guy uh, doesn't know this. Well, he doesn't need to know that's this. That's what marriage is. No, gas. that's why we said marriage is gross. <laughs> Two, you have marriage zero. Marriage is probably the grossest thing on earth. I mean, right. You have zero leg to stand on about farting on a leg this week. Actually, you have no leg to stand on because I blew it off. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I didn't know I'm sleeping, though. <laughs> Still. I'm sleeping. Still. What did I do again? Okay. I can't this remember. This is my story for the week of Life with Eric. This is the real Life with Eric. What is it? So I was either had insomnia or just wanted to finish my book one night. I don't know. I've came to the, uh, the decision that you don't sleep. I might not. You don't either sleep. Way, How I was... You- all, I've never slept, she's never slept in front of me. I've never seen her sleep. I'm the only one sleeping. Yeah, you wake me up every and morning. And she's spying on me. She has like a magnifying glass <laughs> to my asshole. Spying on you. I wasn't spying at all. I was up late finishing my book. She's like, let me spread his cheeks, see if he'll fart. I did not. So He's waiting for me to fart. I finished my book and I was like, okay, I'm not quite tired yet because I'm all amped from finishing my book, but I'm feeling a little frisky. So I roll over. You are kind of giving me the Should have been the best day of my life. Right. So I roll over. I'm rubbing on you, you know, like seeing like, will you wake up? And. I just think I'm in some sensual dream. What do you do? <laughs> fart on my hand. Your hand? I thought you yeah. farted on your leg, <laughs> you said. my hand, actually. <laughs> you farted on my hand. Did it just like vibrate? <laughs> it was just like a poo. Ew, like a puff of air on my that's hand. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's what I have on my fingers still. And that turned you on? Apparently, because I kept rubbing on you. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't deter me. I have a rule with that. <laughs> what? When you're sleeping, you can't hold judgment on anybody. I mean, you do some <laughs> weird, like, I'll wake up 
the, the gas chamber in that room, and <laughs> and you and I'm like, oh, she's sleeping, and I'll deal with it. It's like, yeah, I can't hold it in. But you if you were know. awake, I would hate you for a week. I know. But I made a New Year's resolution not to get mad at you when you fart. Okay, I appreciate that. I get irritated, this. but you I don't do. want you to keep doing it. I'm going to keep but doing it. But I'm not going to get mad at you. The thing is, you don't I get will mad. will not get mad. But you still have these, like, rude, snide comments. I know. It, it takes you a little while to acclimate to not I getting think, mad. What, what? How would you feel if I made a rude, snide comment every time you farted? I would expect you to. I don't, though. No, I would expect you to make a rude comment. You earlier today. I would expect you to karate chop me. Farted silently, and I think you either thought or hoped that I wouldn't smell it. And so I said, did you fart? And you're like, um, yeah. Like, why? <laughs> and I was like, I can smell it. I didn't know it came out. <laughs> That's a whole other problem. <laughs> and you're like, it's old man and so problem. I just was like, okay. And I walked away. If I fart or you smell the remnants of a fart, it's like World War Three set off in our house. Where's the matches? I'm going to bomb this whole place. It smells throw like up. shit. I'm going to yeah. throw up. <laughs> you're Jesus, so like Kylie. dramatic. Jesus, Kylie, take a shit once in a while. Right. I just march and I stomp yes. out of the room like it's a three-year-old. It's so dramatic. <laughs> But I think that's just how it is. It's just a normal part of life. Deal with it. One more thing about farts before we <laughs> stop talking about it. Sorry, Mom. We're spending the first five minutes well, talking if, about farts. If my romantic situation wasn't interrupted by a hand fart. Well, the weirdest thing is I was home. And Kylie hadn't come home for lunch yet. Oh, my I made, God. I forgot about no, this. But I made a salad. And I, I, I go, you know what? There's a little bacon. So also, I microwaved can, a few sticks of bacon. Let me ask you a question. What time did you make this salad? At like eleven thirty a.m. Okay, this is also me coming home from le- from work at night. No, 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 no. I th- no. Are you sure? Why? Well, I, I think know. it was a five p.m. come home. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so that has a big deal. Anyway, I made I'm a pretty few, sure it was a five p.m. coming home. I made a few strips of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds bad. Not in my pants either. <laughs> I had a few bacon say, strips. It does sound bad. <laughs> but I really made some bacon. I like, crisp, I like crispy bacon to make it on my salad. So. Okay. So I made the crispy bacon, and the whole house, like the bacon kind of burnt, and the whole house smelled you like- You burnt the bacon? Well, I mean like crispy. You know, okay. The whole house smelled like bacon. Okay. <laughs> so Kylie comes home- At when, five, whenever, six hours later. Whenever it was. I'm pretty says, sure it's hey, five. I think you better check something out. I think I smell like we have a gas leak. I walked something. in the door from the garage, and I was like, oh my God, it smells like rotten eggs. And I go, no, it's bacon. And I'm like, no, it's rotten eggs. I'm like, no, it's bacon. It's like natural gas. <laughs> it's bacon in the like house. It's, I'm like, I smell it in the laundry room, in the hallway, in the kitchen, everywhere. We have a gas leak. It's happening. We need to call Envy Energy and get them out here. We have a gas leak. The gas leak is your husband. <laughs> and then you had to admit that you farted. <laughs> right before you got there, right? I thought it was the bacon. I was trying to blame the bacon. I was like, go outside and come back in. I'm telling you, we have a problem. Well, the gas company came in. You know how they have that meter that <laughs> reads the gas? To you. No, it just goes right to my asshole. <laughs> They're like, sir, you have a leak. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> that's I found a, your problem. That's a first. In my life, I'm going to also guess yours that somebody thought there somebody was a really wanted the gas natural can. gas leak. It must have been the <laughs> my natural gas smell mixed with the bacon it strips. It smells like rotten eggs. I guess so. I didn't even smell it. I smelled bacon. <laughs> I know. I was, I was like, salivating. And then I was like, you wouldn't admit that you farted, though, for a long time. Well, I didn't really. Th- oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you walked outside. I figured, how did you smell the fart over and the bacon? like, I can't smell anything. And yeah. I was like, then you farted. Like, admit it, because you can't smell your own fart. I literally walked out into the garage to clear my nose of fresh <laughs> air and walked back in. And I'm like, I smell bacon. I l- <laughs> literally walked in from the garage and was like, oh, my God, it's rotten eggs. It's a gas leak. You, what did you really call the gas company that came over? <laughs> like, your house just smells. Sorry. Then they're like, we smell it, but why? <laughs> Did you throw away eggs recently? Yeah, we're going to cut off the gas to your house, <laughs> replace the meter, and do a check on all and your lines. And it still smells. Yeah, it yeah. still smells. <laughs> Let me see your husband's underwear drawer. Oh, my God. Oh, yep. Figured it out. Got it. All right. So, husbands out there, don't vibrate your vibrate your wife's hands off. Try not to. Yeah. I don't know what you do. Everybody farts in their sleep. I get it. And did it phase me? I didn't even say anything. I just yeah. kept rubbing up on you. Like every night. Every single night, I'm like under a microscope. You know what you should do for me? What? You ever seen that movie, Boy in the Plastic Bubble? Yeah. Put me in a, in a bubble. Put me in a bubble. What if I just wrapped like your butt in a bubble? A bubble butt? Yeah. <laughs> and then when you woke up, you'd have this like little like ball of gas. Ball of poop? Little plastic. Ew. Ew. That's gross. Uh, speaking of that, which we're getting on this fart thing. Okay, stop with the fart. Jordy. But this was funny Please. last night. My mom's going to die. This was funny last night because you explained gas as what? 
and I've never heard this in my life. I don't know. Gas, like my fart gas? Anybody's, yeah. Like passing gas is a... Flatulence. You told me it was a small explosion no, no, between no, the no. legs. When I was a kid, I looked this up. Looked the, it up where? And somewhere that I, that we didn't have iPhones. Right. And it said fart. <laughs> a small explosion explosion between the legs. You so didn't I said, tell me you looked this up as a kid either. Yeah. Or maybe someone told me. I don't know. But <laughs> I told Kylie, look it up. It's in the dictionary. But it's it was not. in the urban dictionary. What did you, my favorite thing a is that you asked. A small explosion between the legs. You asked Siri what a fart was. <laughs> That was actually really funny. <laughs> what did it say? It said like some kind of like gas from the anus or something. Yeah, like like uh, fecal gas from the <laughs> anus or something like that, which it is. Which Urban Dictionary does define a fart like that. So you are somewhat right. I have never heard that in my home life. Thirty nine years. Pulled it up. That's what we debate about. We're watching right. Jenny and Georgia. Oh yes, which and we have a we're new debating about show. No, we don't just, watch many shows together. We're debating about a fart. Right. We did have to take a Jenny and Georgia break. What? to discuss this fart. We had to take a break from Ginny and Georgia. Yeah, we had to pause the show just to talk about this fart, like, <laughs> definition of Small this fart. Small explosion between the legs. We're obsessed. I mean, dude. I think as a female, I would define that as something very different, just saying. Why? What are you talking about? Oh, I mean, like an orgasm? Right. That's disgusting. <laughs> explosion. That's disgusting. It's a fact of life. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's not that disgusting, I guess. Right. I wouldn't say it's super disgusting, but you know what was disgusting? No. I thought, when someone farts on a plane, first of all, somebody <gasps> farted on our plane. Oh, my right God. Right when we're getting off and we're freaking suffocating and oh fucking my God. dying. Because we- I was, don't fart on planes. Well, and we had flown into Denver, not Denver, Dallas, and it was late. And we're so sitting pe- on the runway. So people were like, they were like, if you have connecting flights, can you let those people off? First, so they can get their connecting flights on time. Right, and we had plenty of times. So we, we had waited. plenty of times. So we're like, we'll wait. It's the one fine. time we get in row like seven, where we're like ready to get off yes. the plane, we're and stuck because this fucking yes. lady won't move. Because I was like, you know what? If I were in this position and I needed to get off, I hope somebody would let me off. So I was like, I'm gonna. And I would let him, but yeah. when there's a gap, you go. Oh yeah, yeah. She, well, so I think peop- she was waiting. There's a fucking gap. But I think she was waiting for a wheelchair. I learned. I don't know what she was waiting for. Um, her husband was like, let them off, finally. So she did. But anywho, that's beside yeah. the point. The point was we 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 land, and it's like, I don't, maybe someone needed to not make a connecting flight, but connect with the restroom. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe someone but, needed a free colonoscopy. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It was so bad. I mean, dro- drove by Dutch oh. oven the whole, I mean, you, you can bad. literally say. It was she, so bad. Dutch job in the plane. I had to be the person right in front of us. I mean, and the best part about the plane, no one says nothing. They just like oh, look, no. like, and then they might whisper you don't to know their who love. Because yeah. nobody well, you and I are whispering to each other. I'm like, that it. wasn't you, was it? I did try to. I did to question you. Yes, yeah, question me. I, I, <laughs> I trust me. I know when I fart on a plane. <laughs> well, I'm sure you do. When I clear but... a plane, I clear a plane. Out. <laughs> Have you ever cleared a plane out? No. Okay. Just My dad one time he cleared, cleared a, a whole. Out? Volleyball court gym out. <laughs> I did hear this story once. He was playing Multiple co-ed time. volleyball, and they went to the gym like like it was like a seven o'clock. That's game. what you call a chemical fart. And he fart <laughs> and he farted, and everybody's like, <laughs> and Kelly was the only like single guy on the team. So my dad goes, Kelly, and everybody's like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> oh, Kelly. He blamed Kelly. Yeah, and poor yeah, Kelly, and uh, blamed him. And then so they played the game, <laughs> and the next game came in. And people walked in the door going, Jesus, what smells in yeah, here? Yeah, natural like, gas <laughs> leak. Later. That's a pro- the prime example of what I walked into. <laughs> they were like, we have a gas leak. We have to cancel the next game. <laughs> Everybody so, in the whole gym Like father, like son there. Yeah, I never evacuated a gym. <laughs> a whole entire gym. <laughs> Something to strive for. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't even getting at the fart. Let's okay. stop talking about these fart things. People don't want to hear this. I mean, probably not, but maybe they do. Yeah. Bottom line is. Bottom line is. Marriage is gross. Oh, We've said yeah. it a million times. Not a million, just a handful. Yeah. We're reiterating it. Bio, sweat, tampons, poop. <laughs> oh, my God. You're making it worse. Freaking um, um, buttercupping. Okay, that's. Everything. Okay. Boogers. Mm. Eye boogers. Okay. But it can be so romantic, too. It can be. <laughs> right. When you're not doing all that stuff. Right. You can still rub on no, your I husband said, after when you're not doing on all, you. When you're not doing I all do that stuff. I do half of those things. Right. You're the other half. Right. Right. I brush, I floss. What do you get? You do. Yeah. That was my thing. That's my thing. Your teeth are your thing. Right. Your mouth cleanliness. Yeah. But this guy. What guy? This fucker. What fucker? On the American Airlines flight to Key West. 
The oh, snoring guy. This, I'm like, which guy? He falls asleep, this guy. Kind of a bigger guy, too. You know, he's no little guy. No, he wasn't a little guy. He, he's the only, I, I commented because we got on the plane in. Um, um, Dallas. Dallas. And wasn't he the only guy? We're going to Reno, and it's it's cold. Wait, which way? The guy. Had, oh, yeah. we saw him. We saw him. Yeah, we're, Sorry. whatever. But this, is the, I, I commented, this is the only guy with a short sleeve. I think he must have got on Reno to Dallas. I have no idea. I wasn't. It must have been Reno to Dallas because it was freezing cold. I go, look at this guy has a short sleeve. Oh, shirt Oh, it was on. Reno to Dallas. He's you're the right, you're only right. guy that has a short sleeve shirt on, and so we get right. on the plane before we even take off. This guy starts snoring. Well, and the thing is, I didn't Loud. realize it was the guy in front of you. I thought it was like a couple rows up because he was a younger guy. So I, most younger guys don't snore like that. He was snoring like so a ha- it banshee. was like oh, it's an older gentleman. And he had this curly hair, heart. and his hair made a shelf because he lay back in the seat. No, the best his- thing because he did occasionally wake up during our three-hour flight. And the back of his head was like flat hair, was flat as can be. And then he had like a puff, a shelf of curly hair above it. <laughs> that was classic. So he though. was probably sweating and snoring. But the guy next to him, which I thought was his girlfriend, <laughs> which, which I'm like, he I has said. long, pretty hair <laughs> and a little bit messed up in the back. We thought it was his girlfriend, so this I'm other like, big guy. Why is his girlfriend not waking not him up? It's but so rude. We figured out they weren't together, <laughs> and the girlfriend had a big old beard. It was a man or woman was or whatever. Not that, no, it was a man. It was flat out a man. And he was, and you really looked at him, he was like, 27 years old with right. his mom. Grandma. Or grandma. He's with your grandma. He's yeah. like, Grandma, Grandma. <laughs> the guy's like six foot four with a beard and he's with this, <laughs> looks like he's with this other guy. And Kylie and I were saying, like, oh, Why is his girlfriend? Why would his girlfriend? Oh, yeah, that? not his girlfriend. But this guy's snoring loudly. Davey, one time I was on a plane with him and he snored like a freight train on the oh. plane. And I'm just like, Jesus, I'm keep elbowing him. I can Wake say, up. you've never snored on a plane. Yeah, because I know about that stuff. Oh, okay. I mean, subconsciously, I know. Oh, okay. I sleep with my mouth open. Yeah, that happens a sometimes. little bit. Yeah, not always. A little bit. Just yeah, people people just sleep on planes. Do I'm, whatever. I'm not one of them, so I get to observe all of y'all sleeping. I know, but I don't know. American Airlines too. We don't ever fly American. No, we don't. We kind of had to take those to Key West, but maybe we'll fly them again. They have a TV on each individual. Well, seat. only on our flight from Dallas to Key West had them. Okay. That was it. Not well, our whatever. other ones. A lot of American Airlines flights have these TVs. So Kylie keeps watching the TV. I yeah. could my headphones wouldn't work, so I just fuck it. I'm yeah. not watching the TV. Sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And they come on every second interrupt the show. So, right? yeah. So, every any announcement they make in the cabin, whether it be, there's turbulence, buckle your seatbelt. Oh, by the way, let me tell you about our credit card. Anything they say. The they seriously ca- did 10 the minutes captain, on their fucking credit anything card. Anything they talk about interrupts what you're doing on Buy that Buy your TV. credit card. Go more into debt. Thank you. Yes. It was so annoying. I'm like, you're, I don't, like, just stop talking or stop interrupting my show to talk. And Kylie, ah, ah, I'm like, what's going on? Do they keep interrupting? But I've been on a plane where it's happened before like that. I know. And, and the worst part about it, I've been on a plane where I'm doing the last five minutes of a movie <gasps> and I'm all intense. And they're talking to the whole no, thing. As you're descending, they turn it they off. They cut it off. Like you motherfuckers, why can't you just play it till yeah, we land? Can't you just play it till we land? Or no. they have to tell you about buckling your seatbelt because you got to hear- miss it all. No, because you got to hear everything that you know. Right. Every single thing that you know already, you got to listen to again. Like you need to hear it. I will say, it's true. I yeah. did have really good flight karma going down to Key West this last time. What do you mean? Because I, because I'm a nice, significant other, have always sat in the middle seat so you can have the aisle. And I can need sit the together. aisle. I need so the aisle, So we can aisle, sit dear. together. So I always sit in the middle, and you, anyone that sits in the middle knows you don't know where you're going to get on that other side. Right. So on the way down, I had this, the sister of the long-haired bearded man <laughs> sitting next to me <laughs> who was just curled up next to the window and sleeping the whole entire time. Right. So you, she, I actually, I had a little extra room. Nothing was, wrong with her. So she was real pushed up against the window. She didn't even need to go to the bathroom. It was great. No, I like sitting. I, I don't want to be prejudiced. I want skinny people sitting next to me on yeah, the plane. Yeah, so it was like, like it's a young, it was great. Yeah. Young girl, they, they, a young girl will put her knee up and just be getting a little And ball. she did. It was great. So the boy to Dallas was great. I'm like, great. She was a great seatmate. Way to Key West, I didn't have anybody there. I had a whole seat to myself. It was great. Yeah, I didn't have a seatmate. I don't know. What, what do you even get at? No, what? that I had good plain karma. Oh, oh. For like the first time ever. Well, that's good. I know. Good for you. The way back, hold Usually on she's always like, the scars in my drink. Oh, that happened on the way back. Yeah, on the way back. The guy, his elbow was completely in my lap. I, I was like, even, excuse me, I sir. I didn't even consider it because I'm on the, I'm on the yeah, aisle. Yeah, because you only sit next to me. Right. Even even on the way back, you sat at the window, and I sat in the middle. My mom, when she flies, she wants she sits on the aisle. Don't you both your parents sit on the aisle? They both sit on the aisle. Other? Yeah, they want to sit in the aisle. My mom wants to sit close to the bathroom. Well, I'm always like, I want away from the bathroom. 
because yeah. I don't want to smell someone's uh-uh. gross shit coming out of the bathroom there. Right. Well, my mom wants to be speedy in the Just bathroom. Just in case you need she's to like, hit the bathroom. It's interesting. You can see everybody on the flight going in and out of the bathroom. Why do you want to see that? I don't want to see well, that. Well, sometimes it could be interesting. To see who's got toilet paper stuck to their shoe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just to see what happens, but your mom does like a little action. Yeah, but she likes sitting by the bathroom. Well, you know, in this case, she's got some explosion to go on. Right, or something so in like case that. something it's urgent. You know who else sits by the bathroom? Nobody. Probably. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Joe Lamonica with Lamonica Custom Builders. You want a custom home from a Southern California premier home builder? Call me, Joe Lamonica with Lamonica Custom Builders. 310-465-3347. Joe probably does. Oh, okay. he flies a lot now. He goes to Florida all the time. He does go to Florida. I wonder I what airline he takes. Um, I don't know actually. I'll have to ask him and see. I'll have to ask him. Well, we'll call him up sometime when we need to call well, him. He's going to be in town in a few weeks. Joe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He will be. Maybe we'll have him on the podcast. Who yeah. knows? We'll see. <laughs> it's a little hard. Uh, those of you that that um um listen to us on iTunes. Or Apple Apple. Po- Apple Podcast or Spotify. Mm-hmm. Please remember to follow us yeah. or subscribe to us. It helps us out. And rate us a five. Don't rate us a fuck off if you're <laughs> going to rate us a one. Don't even rate us. But if you're going to rate us a five, and it really helps us too if you share it with your friends. So if you have an episode, can you, you dig? please sh- yeah, you dig it. Maybe or you not just, this one because you, you talk about no, it's farts fine. a lot. <laughs> yeah, people like, people like that stuff. Everybody farts, by the way. It's all about marriage, dear. Right. We're all about love, loving each other. And loving our smells. Despite everything. <laughs> yeah, despite everything. Do you know what? What? Do you know what? It's a little bit irritating. What? When you go to Starbucks. Mm-hmm. I'm going off cuff here a little bit. Okay. But when you go to Starbucks, <laughs> okay, and you go and you um you 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 buy a coffee mm-hmm. for six, seven, eight dollars. Oh my god! Totally the last time prices. I went to eight seventy five. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got a vente. Latte. I know you're going to laugh. I, I barely <laughs> even say latte and you laugh. Latte. Whatever you say. <laughs> with almond milk. Did you get a flake like a vanilla? Vanilla latte. <laughs> okay. Knock it off. <laughs> with oat milk. And it was eight seventy five. Oh, my God. Uh, I, did I get oat milk or almond milk? One or the other. I don't even dig uh, oat milk I, these oat, days. Yeah, sometimes I get oat milk. But especially milk, I get it. It's more money. So, Is it? Like, yeah. really? And normally, if I had cash, I would pay the eight seventy five and give them a dollar. Okay. For a tip there. Throw it in the tip jar. Yeah, but now I paid this one with my debit card. You didn't use your app? What's that? You didn't use your app? No. Why? I went, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I can't figure that shit out. All you should do is pull up the little scan thing. I, sometimes I can't figure it out, whatever. Okay. So, okay. All right. I'm going to show you how to do this later, but anyways. Okay. So I pay with my debit card. Okay. 875 Then, now they spin the, the thing, thing. to you, yeah. They spin the iPad around, and it says... 15%, 20%, 25%. You want to tip, tip them, yeah. Or whatever, you know. So you got to push the push the thing for a tip. Mm-hmm. Now, what if, and I push the thing for a tip, and I'm fine with that, but coffee, people always say, should we tip, should we not tip? You know, because if you get, you know, a 15% tip or 20% tip on a, on a cup of coffee, they're not, not like, much. waiting on you and stuff, but it's not right. much they're, money they're either. They're making you something, but yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so... If you're in a restaurant, is what I'm mm-hmm. getting at, and you at during the meal, it's horrible service. You get sh- your bring the wrong food, bring the wrong they, food. Yeah. It's cold. Then you then Whatever, you piss them yeah. off, and they spit in it. Then they bring it back, Hopefully and you're eating it, in it. And it's horrible. And you you tip on the the style of service on your service, and you yeah. know that your waiter or waitress, you know that your waiter or waitress is making minimum wage, and they right. rely on tips, right? As so well you, as the cooks. Probably. So you want to tip them good. 20%, whatever, yeah. or more, whatever. and But you know also if it's shitty service, you're going to give the minimal tip or nothing or whatever, but you probably will give something. Something, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not the one. I always tip good, by the way, folks out there. <laughs> but anyway, and everybody should always tip good. You're long-winded here, bud. But I don't – here's what I'm here's what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay. It's not getting long-winded. Okay. People are interested in this. Are they? <laughs> when you go to Starbucks and they fuck up your coffee – and you just take it out, and it's all fucked up. Oh, I know. You tipped him beforehand. And then it was wrong. And then it was wrong, so you gave him a great tip. For a p- shitty product. 
Right, and you and they messed up your Agreed. order. Agreed, I know. So shouldn't they put the tip thing at the after? end yes. after you pick up your coffee? But a lot of people don't it? have cash, so they're like right. So they flip the thing around and peer while press you're you, there. Peer press you into the tip. But I gave you the wrong coffee. And then if you don't want to do the tip, then the, the person behind the cash register, the young lady or man or whatever, looks at you like you're an asshole. Yeah. Like, I you didn't tip. I haven't been tipping at Starbucks. I I no, no I went the other day. Um, and I, we had it delivered at work the other day, too. And I always get a flat white, which is no foam. Flat whites do not have foam. Right. And both of my drinks and have foam. had, like, an inch of foam. Which right. That's a fuckload of foam and not a lot of coffee. Yeah, you want all coffee. Yes. That's so, why you do it. Yes. So I'm like, like foam no, I'm not going to give you a tip when you actually made my drink wrong. Because a flat white does not have foam. Right. But you don't need tip ahead of time? Uh, oh, yes, but I, ha- I actually do it on my app, and they actually ask yeah. you after you order to tip, so you can t- actually tip afterwards. Oh, well, maybe people should do that then. And so I have not been tipping because it was made wrong. Right. Now, places I go to and frequently, frequent, mm-hmm. I and I like them, or, you know, I really like their food, or I really like those, you know, teas is a good example. Mm-hmm. Always over tip at teas because the burritos are so good. Always over tip at Sunshine Cafe because I oh. go there all the time. And I you like do? I like the owner, so I'll always do like 25%. I have gone there in a while. I know, but. I always do when I go there. Okay. What, what does it have to do with it? gone there in a while? We haven't frequented it in a while. Me, I go. I used when? to go there all the time, and I used to go there about four times a week in Incline. Go where? where? Sunshine Deli. Oh, I was mishearing what you said. That's Sorry, people, that's how people yes, are going to tune out. You do out. frequently that a lot. Sorry, you're just disagreeing with something. You don't even know what I'm saying. I just had the wrong deli. I thought I had the wrong restaurant, and I'm like, "What are you talking about? You don't go there." I know, but why would you call? This is another irritating thing. <laughs> Why do you call me out? Just say okay. Why, why would I, I like lie? Right. That's a place I don't go to. Because I like to be right and you to be wrong. I know, but that's not wrong when I'm <laughs> saying a restaurant. It is if you're making it up. Why would I make it up? Well, I've never not. made a thing <laughs> yeah. up in this podcast. <laughs> I fart. I fart. I say I fart. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was on me. I'm sorry. I know. I now I'm the, irritated. I had the wrong I'm restaurant. trying to tell my tip story. <laughs> you need like Oscar music for this tip story. It's getting long winded. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not long winded. Well, no, well, you know what? Something that's irritating. <laughs> Speaking of irritating, what? You know who tips great? They don't. I'm just gonna do it because I think he's a really good tipper. Oh, okay. Because he s- sponsors our podcast. That's a valid point. He great has, guy. He has a lot of check marks that, that I would think go in that box. Love this guy, and I like his checks. His I like check? his checks. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Does he tip you? <laughs> he basically tips us. <laughs> This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by G&E Painting and Drywall, servicing Reno, Tahoe, and Truckee areas for over 25 years. Call G&E today for all of your painting and drywall needs at 775-833-0551. Thanks, Rob. Still got to get those glasses to him. Yeah, I keep do. missing them. I got the whole packet for him. Well, the now time you new- get it to him, our hats are going to be No, done. the new hats will be in, so yeah. I'll, give him, I'll give him a couple <laughs> hats, too. So hang in there, Rob. Hang on. <laughs> we didn't forget about you. Yeah, we didn't forget about you. We love all our sponsors. Yeah, we do. Yes. Now back to what irritates me. Oh boy, you got more. I yeah. thought that you were. I thought you you told me that you don't get like ever irritated. You literally told me that today. With you. <laughs> but now you're other talking about all the things that are irritating you about me. Everything on my list <laughs> today irritates me. What is this a therapy me. session? Yeah, everything on my list today <laughs> irritates me. So people go on social media. My mom, she loves social media. I mean, I think Kylie, everybody loves social media. I don't. I fucking hate it. Why are you on it all the time then? I because, catch you all the time no, scrolling I'm trying to, through that yeah, shit. Yeah, because I, I'm a, I, like, it, all of a sudden addict to me now. You're, it's, you, it's addict to you? Addicting me. Oh. Addict, <laughs> what, what did I say? I'm addicted to it now. <laughs> but anyway, I always wonder, and on our social media with uh, um, Life with Eric podcast, we have a lot of people that we don't know. Yes. So we that. get like these chicks that like, oh, these chicks always look so good. Like filters, yeah, or whatever. They always, Photoshop. They always look good, know. and then I'm always like, "Who's taking the pictures of these chicks?" Oh, well, that's a good question. Like, who's like, how do they get in that pose of taking the pictures? And that's how is actually this, a valid? How question. is a girl on the bench press taking videos of her bench pressing? Do you want me to start taking videos of you bench pressing? Uh, I think you should. I can. Yeah. Janine for sure will. Yeah, I'm sure you guys <laughs> would love it. Yeah, <laughs> waiting for me. I hope this guy blows a hip out or something, or <laughs> freaking, freaking, uh, um, you know, bicep. Oh, blows I out don't or want something that, like that. But anywho, that'd be so funny the way no. you curl over. Okay, I know how they do it. How? I'm at the gym oh. in the morning. Don't don't don't. I had the me same thing happen to me. 
You don't even know what I'm saying. Oh. Don't trump me on this one. Are you sure it's not the story I told you? And you're no, making credit no, for no, it? no, 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 <laughs> no. I kind of remember that now, but. Okay. So I'm I'm there, and there's this girl, and she, um, you know. I wonder if it was the same girl. Was she kind of a bigger girl? No. Oh. This girl wasn't like a typical Instagram model or whatever, but she was, uh, um, let's call her bigger, bigger bone, but okay. she's sleek little outfit on, but okay. bigger bone, big boobs, but not, not like. Not like the typical Instagram model that you would gym, see. Gym model. Yeah, not 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 the okay. typical. Not the typical. I was like, well, what's okay. she going to put the host hat on? She don't look that good, you know. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, you know, in a way, she's just big, you know. <laughs> okay. So she's taking forever. I thought she was. I thought she was like they had to put the they put the spray bottle with the rag. Yeah. I thought she was like doing something to the spray bottle. Oh, okay. But instead, she had a miniature little tripod. Yes. And she put her phone on it, and she kept going to the bench press and back and forth to make sure it's lined up right. And then she goes and put, I'm, I'm across the way on the, uh, the the chest machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching her, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this is fucking pathetic. Are you fucking kidding me? Right. This, I'm like, this is how they take the pictures? Mm-hmm. This is what they do now? Right. She's taking forever. She ain't working out. She's right. taking She's forever. She's taking longer setting up her fucking tripod. Oh, my God. So she gets on the... Uh, thing and she does her exercises she doesn't fast then she doesn't slow to get the cam the shot whatever shot she needs she's going to edit it later right and then she's all done she grabs her bag she grabs the tripod goes to the next machine sets it up again oh my god oh my god like you would think in your head she's doing it for maybe training purposes to see your technique or something but she's doing this to look for a social media shot right that's what they do. No, I had a to tripod me at the gym. She had a tripod. I remember and, you telling me and that. And I was like, I'm not going to change where I'm working out because I might be in your shot. I think I was totally in her shot. And she got kind of like irritated, you could tell. And I'm like, yeah, I don't give a like, shit. We're here to work out, not go take to your fucking own shots. Go to your own machine. Yeah, get like, and it was, it was like get the free, life, it was the free weights. And I was like, go make a home gym if that's what you want to do with your life. But I'm not going to change my workout routine because I might be in your shot. Right. Fuck off. It's crazy that it they is. do that. And I didn't really know that they do that. Like, have a I tripod. I've, only, I've was, only seen it once, and now you've seen it. I wonder if we're yeah. going to start seeing it. Because literally, you can set the timer for your iPhone. Yes. I didn't know. You, yeah, but you this, this girl was obviously, I, I believe, shooting video. Probably. And then yeah. clipping the video, probably putting it to, you know, Bruno Mars or something, you right. know? Right. I hope that you're yeah. not putting your workout video to Bruno Mars. Why not? That's a little weird. What, what's a Bruno Mars song? They're all kind of romantic. No, they're not. Bruno Mars? Kind of. There's always. It's like luck. I yeah. could dance t- t- okay, for you. Yeah, that's you don't dance. I could make up a you lie just, for you. <laughs> you don't put a workout video I, to that. I don't know. I, I don't even what know. What would you put a workout video to? What song? Probably that new Miley Cyrus song that we also heard today. a horrible workout video oh, okay. song. Okay. I, I don't. You I would don't pick know. some hair band song. Yeah, yeah. I'd pick so like poison. Yeah. So this, I mean, she's not gonna put a hair band yeah. song, but it's gonna be more upbeat and like fun. Yeah. Not I, like a slow sad. Let me grab a tissue while you pump some iron. Well, maybe you're watching me pump iron. Yeah, <laughs> grab a tissue. <laughs> I might grab a tissue and yeah. be like, "This poor old guy, <laughs> what's happening?" Why don't you and Janine video <laughs> video me at the gym <laughs> and then put it to sad music? <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh my god! Well, that's our goal for the week now. Like, the creepiest, saddest music, <laughs> like the most pathetic song you could possibly think of. <laughs> I we have that video of you next to the What's the, that what's that what's that song? Um what's that song they sing at funerals and stuff? The oh. um Amazing <laughs> Grace. I'm pumping on the bench press. How sweet. I can find a better one. We do have that video of you next to the guy going like crazy fast on the elliptical and next to you going normal. Right. <laughs> we can post that. I felt very incompetent. <laughs> I mean as or you no, should. Not incompetent. What's the word I'm looking for? Insignificant. He was he like was, he's a man and I'm not. Except for I'm like he's gonna blow like, off that thing. Yeah, he looked like he was gonna I think we shoot talked about off this, up, but we yeah, did, but he looked like he was gonna shoot off into the. I thought he was gonna shoot over the railing. Like, who like, goes that <laughs> fast on elliptical? Like you're they're gonna, not like, meant for that. Knee. They are not no, meant for they're that. They're for just like the w- machines w- are not meant for yeah. that. I get on a treadmill because you're gonna burn yeah, get on a treadmill and crank it up to fifteen because yeah, elliptical is gonna blow out on you. If you're on elliptical like that, you should have high tight shorts. Maybe a tight tank top or a half shirt and a headband, oh. for shirt with long socks oh. with with <laughs> Adidas shoes on. Okay, and that's what you should be wearing if you do the elliptical that fast. You look like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Freddie Mercury. Yeah, Freddie Mer- Freddie Mercury on. See, you could put a Queen song to your workout. That works. That would be another one. Bites the dust. Right. <laughs> we do, are the champions. Do, do, 
Like, oh, there's yeah. a ton. No, do, That's appropriate for your workout video. Do me on the <laughs> hamstring machine because my hamstrings are so weak and put it to We Are the Champions. <laughs> I gladly you will. you got to do that. That's going to be good. I will do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Next week. I'll meet you at the Edit gym. That. Edit that shit up. Uh, I will. Bring the little tripod. <laughs> set it up. Everybody will watch you. Watch while yeah. I'm behind the, it's the scenes. The, yeah. Like, oh, action. Uh, don't worry. He's an Instagram model. He's Instagram famous. Don't yeah, he's that. Instagram famous. He's an influencer. Yeah, um, he's verified. <laughs> he's verified. <laughs> Everybody, back off, please. Nobody get any machines. <laughs> don't nobody get any machines around him, please. <laughs> he's verified. We will be using this machine for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. Please don't. He's he uses man mower before he did this. <laughs> there's no there's no straggly hairs hanging out anywhere. Ew. Why do you have short enough shorts that straggly hairs are hanging out anyway? Well, if I wear that, I'm doing I'm doing the shorty shorts. You just wear your speedo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to borrow my shorts? Yeah. But I do have a man mower. You do. I got it for for Christmas. A man is a man mower is, is supposed to do you like your happy trail and yes. all that mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, work pretty good and everything. Yeah, it yeah. has. I I think that I would turned me on to buy it. Was that it had a light or has a light, like an LED light. Right. So you can see what you're mowing. <laughs> <laughs> see what you're mowing. But it's just funny. You can use it for your face or whatever. I mean, you it's could. just called I a mean, man mower. You, I mean, you shouldn't. You should clean those things. Like, you shouldn't cross contaminate that. Balls to face. Balls to yes, face. It's yeah. Not, not a wise choice. You do balls to face all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're <my> fine. <laughs> I'm not like scratching skin. You ever heard of a tea bag? <laughs> I'm not rubbing skin off. I'm not like, making nicks. That's Maybe true. if you don't do your balls tight enough. You yeah, but it's your same me. body. It it's a, matter. it's, it's my body to my body. I can go bac- from it's anywhere. It's different bacteria. Oh. Yeah, so what? Okay. Well, when you get a staph infection on your cheek. I had then- one the other day on my thing. <laughs> my mom kept talking about it. Then- well, that's might be why I had it. Well, hey, because that was before Christmas. So maybe. It was before Christmas. No, it was after Christmas, right? No. It, your no. thing was before Christmas. Your oh, mom geez. thought it was I'm glad morning. that's gone. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear. Yes, my love. I can't believe it, <laughs> but we forgot sponsors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, Life of the Air podcast is brought to you by Petrola Concrete Construction and doTERRA Essential Oils. You can get those from Aislin Mueller. At, her handle is at this essential life. So, dear. Yes, darling. This podcast is sponsored by <laughs> Eric's Concrete Pavers, Rock House Masonry, and Tahoe Pervious Pavements. When it rains, it drains. Do you have one more you need to throw in there? Now, dear. No. Oh, okay. You I, it off? I, I sure, I'm sorry. I sure <laughs> yeah. don't. One of my time? irritating tra- traits. I don't listen. Last call. <laughs> yeah. So, dear, who are we cheersing today? Uh, you wanted to do today or today's cheers. Today, or I'm going to cheers a very special guy. A very special guy in my life. <laughs> a guy who drinks more Jameson mm-hmm. than a bar in Ireland. Oh, man, I don't know about that. Nope, nope. No. <laughs> oh, I do. I definitely know a bar that. A guy. You've never been to Ireland. You don't know that. Who is not shy to call somebody out for wearing a fucking mask. No, he's not. And he will let you have it. He will. Did I say a guy who drinks more Jameson? You did. Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good friend of mine. And maybe Kylie's. I don't know. The she more only you, sees him once right. in a while. Mm-hmm. But a guy who makes us sound good on this podcast. <laughs> yes, he does. And a guy who is getting surgery on Monday. Yes. So who might not be drinking Jameson for a bit. Oh, he'll be doing it. Oh, okay. He'll be hopped up on pain pills drinking Jameson. He's fine. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, hey, you got to get me the material here so we can edit it up, or, or you know, he makes our voices crisp and clear and everything. Right. Get it to me before I get out of the hospital because I don't want to edit your thing up. You all know, high. Yeah, why well, I'm hopped up on uh, fun, all though. the pain pills or whatnot. <laughs> so, um, Dan will have a new rebuilt ankle, foot, leg, Ooh. whatever the fuck they're doing to him. And what's next? He had a shoulder done last time. Yeah, so good luck. So good luck, Dan. Happy cheers he- to you, Dan. Cheers to you. Happy healing. Yeah, and I'll tell him, hey, you better make, we gave you a cheers, so good luck yeah. with your surgery. So we need you to come back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can't die on the surgery nope. table because we need you back. I need you to heal quickly because we need you. Right. <laughs> so cheers. Cheers, Dan. To Podcast Dan. Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to your podcast or just go to our website at www.lifewitheric.com.
And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I love you, baby. I love you. You smell good. <laughs> Actually, do right now. I showered. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs>